Hi everyone, this is Phil from It Gaming, and today I'm going to give you my guide to the tech clause in Arc Genesis. The Tech Claws are a new melee weapon that is available in Arc Genesis. They are a dual electric blade weapon. They have a very, very short attack range, but a very high attack speed. And man, oh man, they just look incredible. In order to manufacture the Tech Claws, you're going to need to unlock its Tech Gram. To do so, you will need to go to the final test, at least at Gamma difficulty. But a spoiler warning, if you don't wish to see what the final boss looks like, skip ahead to 57 seconds in this video and you won't get any spoilers. So when you do defeat the boss, you will see that you get not only the Tech Claws, but also the Tech Replicator, the Tech Hover Skiff, and the Tech Dedicated Storage. Once you've unlocked the Tech Claws, you can craft them in the Tech Replicator. You'll find it in the Weapons folder and then the Melee folder. And to manufacture it, you're first going to need some Black Pearls. Uh, and you will also need some Crystal, Element, Metal Ingots, and Polymer to manufacture them. The primary attack of the Tech Claws is fairly slow to start with, but as you continually attack the same target, eventually you will get a attack buff on the lower right of the screen, and this makes your attacks much, much faster. If you're being attacked while you're using the Tech Claws, you can use the right mouse button to block with the Tech Claws. Do be aware, however, this causes a huge amount of durability loss, and they will inevitably break. Unsurprisingly, the Tech Claws, of course, can also damage structures, though I wouldn't say this is the best way of going through a thatch wall. As you can see, it's only doing 38 damage per hit, and it takes quite a few hits to go through just a thatch wall. This, of course, also works on wooden walls. Here I've got it sped up eight times, and, uh... Yeah, you get a sense of how many times you have to hit a wall in order for it to break, but eventually it does break. It does the same amount of damage also to a stone wall. So at 10,000 uh, health, you can imagine how long that's going to take. And the same is also true for a metal wall. So this will go through metal, which is unsurprising since it is, of course, a tech weapon. When Genesis launched, the tech claws were absolutely ripping through any wall. It was hitting them and going through them in like four or five hits. That has since been patched, so it's much more balanced now, but it is still capable of going through even a tech wall. While they're definitely more balanced now, I don't think they're nearly as fun as they were when Genesis launched. Do you have any other uses for the tech claws? Tell us what they are in the comments below. If you found this video useful, please feel free to leave a like, comment, or subscribe to the channel. And as always, have fun out there.